Yes, everybody. Hello, welcome to Automatics TV. Starting off today's match day vlog a little bit early. Uh, funnily enough, I've just uh, wrapped up the road trip video for the United Stand. Managed to get plenty done today. Alfie's trained. Managed to get Alfie's air cut. He wasn't happy. Got a moaning ass. Tell you, air cut, then training on the bank holiday Monday. Shows you how weird everything is at the moment. No one's counting this bank holiday seriously, except the football calendar because. Why? I'll tell you exactly why. Because Manchester United Wolves is one of them tricky games that the broadcasters thought, you know what, no one else is playing today, so here's what we're going to do. We'll let everyone have the bank holiday, and then we know everyone is going to be sat prime view time to watch Manchester United against Wolves. Because you know why? They're hoping there's another upset. They're hoping for another Manchester United meltdown. That's why we're on at half past five. That's why they know they'll get all the figures they want and it'll be worthwhile for that TV deal that they signed. I don't even know who's got the broadcast deal for tonight or who's broadcasting it in fact. Is it Sky? Our five kickoffs use the Sky in it. I don't know. But anyway, that's why it's on at this time. It's so the world can see Manchester United. It's exactly what it is. And they're all hoping that United lose again. That's what they're hoping. I don't get me wrong. If you listen to me on the United Stand, if you listen to me on my channel, both shows on yesterday, I said it exactly how it is. It's going to be a very, very tough game. Notoriously, Wolves against Manchester United. It's awful, isn't it, Alfie? Yeah. When have we ever seen a decent Wolves game? Ever. No. It's not. It doesn't happen. So you're walking away from me with 1-0 and you're the happiest man alive if you're a United fan. That's exactly how I'm looking at it today and it's exactly what I will take. I've gone 2-0. For some strange reason, I expect United for only the second time since Wolves have been back in the division to score more than one goal against them in a game. Don't know why today. I'm just doing it today because everyone's hoping for United lost today. Everyone's played, everyone's settled in, everyone will be around the TV, all the opposition teams and everything, waiting for Manchester United to lose this game. And you know what? I absolutely love it. Love it if we beat them, old Keegan style. No, honestly though, a nice 2 0 win just to stick it to everyone would be absolutely bang on today. But I know it's not going to be that easy. But don't you agree? Wouldn't you just like everyone to be sat there waiting for United to F up, basically? And United just stick it to them. A nice, comfortable 2 0 win. Up to fifth, one point off, top four. You know what I mean? And then we're going into a. We're going into FA Cup weekend next weekend, a little bit more comfortable. 13 points out of 15 in the league from Ralph while he's been in charge, unbeaten since all he's left the football club. And everyone's then clutching around trying to find fault again and moaning. I listened to everyone this morning going on on the radio United aren't this, United aren't that, they're going to struggle today. Well, this is Wolves, United. This is Wolves against United. We've always struggled against them, and let's be honest, it's an easy shout to make. They've conceded 12 goals all season, City beat them with 10 men 1 0 with a penalty at home. Liverpool, last minute, are eager to try and beat them. You know what I mean? They're no pushover. This is a very tough game. And any team that's got 12 goals conceded this season is going to be a hard work. So for these mastermind pundits who don't do any research at all to come out and just say, this is going to be, I think they'll struggle today. I think they'll struggle against Wolves today. Of course we will. They're a good team. Idiots! And this is why we're on at this time, and this is why I'm slightly irate and built up for this game. It's going to be a hard watch. It's going to be... I'll probably end up falling out with Alpha because we're shouting and I'm elbowing him in the face while we're watching the game. But get out of this with a win, and it's big news. That's what it is. I know standards haven't dropped. Every good team in the league has struggled against Wolves this season because they're very good defensively. Anyway, for an intro of a video, it's gone very long and it's gone on long, but just need to get that out there before we set off, before we got into it. Guess where we're going? Yes. No, not KFC, because it's crap. I didn't like that one last time. Made me ill. I'm going Mackies. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'll see you in there. 20 nuggets, anyone? Here we go. Mackie D's in the house. Okay, so you heard my thoughts driving in. Pretty much said everything I needed to say there, I covered it all in four minutes, just looking back on it, and I thought, yeah, I ain't got anything to add to that, uh, and 
Wolves at home. Excited. No. Oh, <laughs> I hate Wolves. I hate playing Wolves. Uh, I'd take a snatch and grab one now. Yeah, everyone's the same. Boys are in. Alright, okay, let's see what we can get out of this lot. Alpha? Yeah. Ali? Yeah? You excited about the game, mate? Yeah. Wow, what score do you think it's going to be? 2-1. 2 1 United. Yeah. yeah, Bailey's really excited about the game. <laughs> Alpha is just. Uh, it's giggle fit time. Giggle fit time for the boys. Let's see if they're giggling after the game. <laughs> We're going to head up to Old Trafford in a minute. We've just had our fill. Uh, need as much energy as possible because I've got a feeling we're going to be talking in depth about how we could have, how we should have at this one. I don't know. Might be proved wrong, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's head over to OT now. Like I'm in again. That's it. Same team. Same team except two centre backs. And dear God, I can't leave him saying this. Good news is Varane is in. Bad news is Phil Mother Jones is playing for Manchester United again. I can't remember his last game. I can't remember how crap he was in the last game. I'm guessing he was crap because he's always been crap over the last what three years he's played at least. The last four he's hardly played because he's been dead. But yeah, that's it. It's exactly the same as Burnley. No Bruno. There's no change up. Are you surprised? I am surprised. I expected Fred. Uh, but Matic, this is the myth, isn't it? We're going to see Matic play two games in a week. Is Ranić about to? Is he about to stick that myth of Matic can't play two games in a week down everyone's throats? We will see today. This is going to be really interesting. Now, I don't Jones. That's all I can say. I'll. I'll talk about it at half time, I'll judge it then, but I can't say anything past that right now. But yeah, everyone's saying the same thing around here and yeah, it's going to be very, very interesting. I'll tell you that for nothing. Yes, half time report and as expected, Completely as expected, expect for one thing, didn't expect Phil Jones to be one of the better players of the half. Well, he was, and you know what? We know the defence has been solid, I've been impressed with the defence, Matic has been on point. The problem we've got is then in front of Matic, you've got McTominay, Cavani, Ronaldo, Sancho, Greenwood. Of Greenwood out of that five, the only one that's performing to his potential. The rest of them are off, Ronaldo off, on the ground, and there is nothing. Poor decision not to play Greenwood in towards the back end of there. And I said at the start, we needed to be clinical, we need to take the chances that come our way. I thought Cavani was the perfect man to see that ball to Greenwood. The Greenwood something is clean through, and that's the chance you take against Wolves. It's fine margin to this game, we you know. Wolves are the better team, they're the ones who are probably more disappointed in the half. The longer this game goes on, I'll say it, the more confident I am, because We've got quality to come on and that one chance will come to one of our match winners. The problem is the match winners at the moment are not helping the defence which is being overloaded. We're getting no release and no relief for the defence. It's just coming straight back because we're not holding it on top. Sancho, poor. Ronaldo's done nothing. Cavani just on the peripheral at the moment. Greenwood is the only shining light. Apart from that, it's exactly how I expected it to go. I'm not completely disheartened, I'm going to be honest. Maybe at the end, if we don't win this game, I will be a bit disappointed, but this is how I expected this game to go. We're in it, we're solid. It's always going to be this type of game of Wolves. And at the end of the day, we've got to take them little chances that come. We didn't. And that's why we're doing at half time. But I think there's more in this game for us to really do. And I think Bruno and Rashford can't make a difference off the bench. We will see. And to the level, we just have to stay solid. Wolves. Speculative shots, great saves from the air, but nothing clear, clear cut. So I'm all right with the defence at the moment. Just got to be able to do more of them. Okay, I had to sit down. I've just finished talking to everyone. How do we break that down? How? Uh, game of fine lines. You've got to take your chances. I said it at half time. Defensively, I had no issue. I was happy with the way it was going. 
but I did know that there was going to be a point where you had to take that chance. I thought Cavani should have squared it to Greenwood first half. Bruno should have put his away. That's 2 0 before Wolves even get that half chance from Martinho towards the end. And we didn't take them. They took theirs. I've seen this before. We've seen it many a times before, especially against Wolves, especially this season. Everyone I spoke to out here tonight is just downbeat. They're looking at the rest of the season thinking, wow, top four. Top four is gone. And I'm talking there and I made an interesting point thinking about it. Short term loss for long term gain would be a lot of these players leaving. If we don't make top four, I guarantee Ronaldo leaves. Cavani's gone anyway. Martial wants out. Pogba won't be here. Lingard's gone. It's five first team players. It's a bit of clout there. Would I don't know, I never want this football team to lose. Ever. And I'll never say we need to lose. But if they're not here, it is a real fresh start. It is a clean slate. And then maybe we're looking at it from there. But should we really now, only halfway through a season, be saying we're looking towards the summer and who's leaving because this season's finished? We've got the FA Cup against Aston Villa next week and we have to win that. We need a cup run. Otherwise, I've seen fans fighting in there today, in the stand. United fans fighting each other because they're not happy with what they're seeing. They want someone to blame. They're arguing against each other. We've turned into, you can't blame him. My player favourite is better than your player favourite. It's the way this club has gone and it's not good enough. The club aren't helping, the players are not helping definitely, and Ranjik has got one hell of a job on his hands here. I've sort of come to peace with what's happening right now, and you can probably tell from my tone, it's not easy to talk like this and say it the way it is, but I'm just going to lay it out on the line. I can't see this team making top four. There are better teams out there. There are better teams. Ranjik, he's going to struggle, he, he really is. And maybe what Ranjik is doing is a blessing in disguise. He's giving players a chance. It was too soon to play Cavani again. It was too soon to play Ronaldo again. Sancho was awful. Greenwood was good, but he got brought off. Greenwood the scapegoat again. Now that was happening a lot under Ole. Defensively, Phil Jones was our best player, along with Verrat Brown. The whole defence was good defensively. But they were excellent tonight. I'm not going to slag them off. McTominay lost the ball six times in the final third. He's not good enough. That one-off game against Burnley counts for nothing. It's Burnley, the crap, they're going down. And then he turns up against a decent outfit in Wolves. And like I said, different kettle of fish, different result. McTominay reverts back to type and how good he really is, which isn't that good. I'm not good enough for Manchester United. Do we spend in January trying to salvage this season or do we try and see it out and then really rebuild in the summer? That's the question right now. I don't think we've got it in us to get top four looking at what we're doing. I'm looking at another defeat at Old Trafford. Another game where we've not scored. We just don't score goals. And that is not good enough for this football club. I'm going to walk home now. Not walk home. I'm going to drive home, obviously, walk to the car. And I don't know where we go from here. I do, in case it's FA Cup against Wolves on Monday. But I've not got much hope. There's another good team playing better than us. And it's going to be another tough game. We can't afford to lose that. But, guys, thanks for watching, as always. Downbeat. What's new? We move on FA Cup next. I'll see you in a week. Plenty of live shows and plenty of content coming up this week. Back to normal, guys. Happy New Year from me. Not a great start to the year for United, but we have to improve. Otherwise, I don't know. You tell me. Are we going to make top four from here? I can't see it, but stranger things have happened. Guys, cheers for watching. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. As always, bye-bye.